Guys, Trenton just, Shelby sent me a message. Shelby sent me a message. DJ, I need to share something with you. Something that I'll never forget. And I doubt any of us will. It was a moment that ended the Harold Jason saga for good. But it's haunted me ever since. You know how Trenton can let go of what Harold did to him? How that fear and anger have been eating him up from the inside? Well, it reached a breaking point. Trenton decided to confront Harold, to face his fears head on. And he arranged a meeting with him on a rooftop. Oh God. I can't even begin to describe the tension that hung in the day, or that day. The rooftop was a sense of destiny. A place where past and present collided. Trenton was determined to make Harold understand the pain he had caused, to somehow find closure. Where they met up there, it was like watching two forces of nature clash. Trenton poured out his pain, his anger, his frustration, while Harold tried to defend himself, to justify his actions. It was a whirlwind of emotions, and I was there too, trying to medicate, to prevent things from spiraling out of control. But what happened next to you, is something that still haunts my nightmares. In the heat of that moment, with emotions running high, a struggle erupted between Trenton and Harold. I tried to intervene, oh no, to separate them, to keep them from doing something they'd regret. But in the chaos of it all, in the midst of that desperate struggle, Harold lost his footing, he slipped, and there was nothing any of us could have done. I watched his sheer horror as he plummeted from that rooftop, disappearing into the shower, darkness below. Oh my God! Harold Jason's dead, what the? It was a moment frozen in time, and I can't erase it from my memory. I never wanted any of this to happen, DJ. I never wanted it then this way, but how now Harold Jason is gone, and there's no one doing what he's done, what's been done. I understand if you have mixed feelings about this. It's a lot to process, and there's no easy way to make sense of it. Trenton too is struggling with the weight of what transpired that day. The guilt, the trauma. It's a burden he didn't ask for, but has to bear. I want you to know the truth about what happened, because you've always been, who's been there for us free, thick and thin. I can't change the past and I can't bring Harold back, but I can offer my sincere God that we can let that way affect everyone. I don't know if I'm going to prison or how we move forward from this dark chapter. <sighs> Shall we? What the? Harold Jason is dead. He was pushed off a rooftop and fell to his death. Shall be in the ravine in a brothel. It shall be pushed. Harold. To his death. It's over the saga, the whole... I... What does this mean for Shelby and Trenton? Are they going to prison? How will this affect Trenton's mental health? His downward barrel has gone. What's he gonna do next? It's all going down.